Guys, this is like take 30. I keep messing up the videos. We're so excited to share with you guys what we're doing right now with our living space. So I'm standing in the back of the house, the building. This is the door that we go back to the carport where we're gonna park. And the way it's gonna work is Greg and I are living upstairs and then downstairs there's gonna be a door right here that separates the two units. So downstairs we're gonna use for missions and different things, a two bedroom, two bath house. But for right now, we want to get upstairs. So imagine there's a door here. When we walk in, we're going to walk into this space. We're hoping to keep the ceiling super high and be able to restore some of that tin up there, but that's questionable. It's just very difficult, and we want to make sure that we are using things in efficient ways. So this area that you see right here is actually where we're going to put this antique elevator, um, this really cool man from Kansas City, collects old elevators. I found him on eBay. He's gonna come to South Louisiana, bring the elevator and install it. Now, all of this is only possible because Walter Vaughn and Tommy Vaughn are the most best framers in the whole wide world. They have reframed a elevator shaft. They've never done that before, but the um, kind man has sent us some specs and we're working on getting that framed out. So when we come in, we'll be able to stick all the groceries in the elevator and send it up, and then we're gonna go up these stairs. These stairs are original to the house. We're gonna to try to save them. We've been sanding the tops of them, and I know that they are lived hard, put up wet, but we're gonna stain them and we're gonna paint the risers white. I really think they're gonna be beautiful. The things that we are so excited about is, I think in another video, I showed you guys that the landing up there was super low. It was probably about six and a half feet at the most, because I could just hold my hand up and touch it and getting furniture up there was really difficult, or it would have been really difficult. So Walter and Tommy came in and they literally reframed the whole landing. And the framing on the landing was original to the house, which is really, um, I don't know if people were just really short back in 1906, or uh, it, it just was an awkward situation. Um, one of the cool things I love about when we're excavating and opening up things um, when we're digging is these are the headers over every window. They're big, solid cypress beams. Um, this is a very small window. We're going to take it out and we're going to put in a piece of stained glass or leaded glass or something really pretty right here. But we're going to keep the header exposed. I'm excited about that. If you look up, I think Greg showed you all the tin up there. That tin is going to try to be salvaged. We have to tack it down but my sheet rocker said they can make it nice and pretty and then we're gonna paint it out. As we go up the stairs, you'll see that we have nice new framing right here, all thanks to the Bowen Boys. Uh, I'm gonna show you how fun this is gonna be for my grandkids when we get around the corner. But right now, we're at the top of the stairs and right here is where the elevator's gonna come up. Um, they've already got the shaft cut right here. We're waiting on the dimensions of how to put the door in. And once we get all that, I'm thinking sometimes in probably May or June, the nice man from Kansas is gonna come bring the elevator and put it in. Um, I'm really excited. Um, if you look down the hallway, it looks like a hot mess, but it's not. It is so much work has been done. We are doing demo and framing all at the same time because every time we open up something, we find more stuff that we need to correct or we realize that we have to move or adjust based on the windows. And I've uh, talked to a lot of people, because it's cinder block, we have four windows on this side, we have four windows on this side. Technically, there's a fifth window, but it's been closed up, and I'm gonna show you that one in a minute. But I can't move those windows. So this little room right here is my grandbaby's room. And I'm so excited about the grandbaby room. Um, we're having to be very tight in space. I think we're right under 2,200 square feet on square footage, volume, we're humongous. And that's really, really a blessing. Um, we're close to 11 foot upstairs. I think 13 half 14 downstairs on our ceiling height. But in here, the ceiling height is enough to do triple bunk beds. I've been researching it and because I have littles, um, you make the bottom one pretty low and then you just, every three feet you can put something and I can have triple bunk beds. They are ecstatic about it. The floor place in here is working out just fine. I have a, a nice little place for a closet. This room is gonna be a fun room to do. And I have the cutest wallpaper. Paige, you might wanna mention my pet peeve with those windows. 
Oh, well, Greg hates the windows. It ain't a pet peeve. He just literally hates the windows because they came in, and I'm going to show you in all the rooms that you see how it's been filled in with stuff up there, and then even on the sides right here, they filled in, and every one is kind of a little different. Some they fill in the bottom, some the sides. If you turn right and show them the back window in the back of the hall, you'll see that they filled in the bottom, they filled in the top, and then they filled in some more. Um, I know that the little architectural details at the top could be cute, but um, we're trying. We have a guy in New Orleans that redoes old windows correctly. He's going to come look at them and tell us if he can put proper windows in um, all the windows upstairs and make it back to the original. We're looking at wood ones. I'm excited about that. Um, and then we have another bedroom. This is our guest bedroom right here. Um, it, once again, we had to capture a window. So that bedroom has a window, then we have to get over here and you'll see the windows are kind of a little bit in awkward spots sometimes, but it's just, we had to capture them for a room. So once again, you see the windows not correct in the space. Um, we're not gonna keep the tub in the bedroom. It's gonna be moving right over here to the kids or the um, guest bathroom. This, can you show the potty so they know what I'm talking about? Um, this is not go here. We're trying to salvage this potty. We've thrown away so much stuff. But the door is going to be right here, and we're going to have a barn door on it. And then on that side, that nice bathtub is going to go right here. I have about six feet. And then on this side, I'm going to have, I'm going to walk through a three-foot vanity. I don't think I can go 42. That would be lovely if I could, but at least 36. And then I'll have uh, the toilet right here. This is going to remain open. And I think it's going to make the bathroom feel more spacious. We're going to walk straight into the laundry room. Um, gotta train them babies to do laundry. No, I'm just joking. I'm gonna do my grandbaby's laundry. But this right here will have stackable washers and dryer. And then Reggie Broussard, air conditioned man extraordinaire, is claiming my cabinet space right here, most of it, to run a chase. He said, I can have cabinets or I can have air conditioning. Um, Greg, what do you want? AC. Greg wants air conditioning. So right here will be a chase going up here. Um, into the front part of the house, the whole living space. Up until this point, we have the belly of the whale space to be able to run all the air conditioning. So air conditioning and cooling, heating will come from the floor, but we don't have that option in the front because the ceilings are the full height down there. So this will be the chase. I think I can get me a little tiny countertop right here. I'm working on it, but really and truly, we really do need air conditioning, so I'm not complaining too much because on this side, I have six feet right here to put storage and cabinets and hanging place for um, clothes, extra, extra, extra pantry space. It's really good. Super efficient use of space. I'm gonna try to bring on a trend to put your laundry room in the back of your kid's bathroom. I don't know if it'll happen, but I don't think it's a bad idea. We're gonna live it, I'll let you know. Then this side of the house is going to be the master bedroom side. And once again, I love my people. I cannot thank um, my electrician, um, Patrick Orwell, and my plumber, Darren Robichaud, they have been walking through this with me the whole time. Um, making sure that I'm not making mistakes, making sure that we're safe, making sure we're making good decisions. Um, but let me just tell you right now, my people, Tommy and Walter, are making the pretty happen. So our first pretty, so they like my favorites right now. I put in my doors just so I could love them. Look how beautiful these doors guys i got these in beaumont texas when we were building the place in new orleans and they had a half price sale and they had two sets and greg is with a u-haul trailer and we could fit both of them in the trailer so i'm like come on baby we can save it one day we'll use it we need both of them you know he's a pushover right well he said okay so it's been in storage for about three years and look it really did happen you would see the light fixtures I own that I've pulled out of storage. I'm using most of them in this house because I knew one day I'd have a place for them. Yeah, I know it's hoarder tendencies, but it's okay. I'm trying to justify it. But these are beautiful. They are supposedly from France. I'm not sure, but we're going to go with it. That's what the lady said, and she seemed to be reputable. Um, so this goes into the bathroom. But before we go into the bathroom, because we're having to once again work around windows and things like that, the closet situation is a little bit different and interesting. And I've learned I like organization. And so we're doing old school closets, which is making me so happy. This is a closet that I'm going to use. It's my closet. 
at the little house we have now on Jacob Street, we learned to double hang closets. And I'm gonna show you in Greg's closet, his is actually gonna be triple hung. But to double hang, you need 40 inches and 80 inches, which pretty much wipes out having much of a shelf at the top, but it makes great closet space and your pants aren't dragging on the ground, it's wonderful. So I'll have double hanging space here, and then up there, you know when you go to the old houses, they have the little cabinets at the top with the doors? We're gonna have that upstairs. For us, it's gonna almost act as attic space because we don't have an attic. Um, so this one has, and I have four of these closets in this room, which I think is gonna be super cute. So I have one set here, one set there, and then I don't make them dizzy, Greg, but in the other side of the room, we have a matching set there and a matching set there. And then that's a blank wall right there where we'll put a dresser. So once again, not a huge room, but super efficient. Um, I sleep in here. I don't hang out in here. So I'm really excited about this. But let's go look through these pretty doors. I'm so excited. So if we come into the bathroom, we have a nice space. It wasn't supposed to be nice, but I needed like a little bit in the window to fit a tub and a shower and you can't just cut a window in half. So I had to claim a whole window. And there's so many choices that you have to make when you have limited space. Like, do you want a separate tub and shower or do you want a big bedroom? Greg loves a shower, I love a tub. I live in a hundred and something year old house. That's what this is. is. I need a clawfoot tub. Plus, I'm justifying it because that's what they would have had in 1906. This area, exactly right here, someone came visit us today, Mr. David Boudier, is that how you say his name? He lived in this apartment like 40 years ago. This area where I'm standing was his apartment and right back here behind me was the bathroom that he had to share. There was one bathroom for the four apartments. Isn't that crazy? So this was the original bathroom, and it just makes my heart so happy. This is where it would have all happened. So my clawfoot tub is gonna go here, a shower here, a toilet here. There's a pipe right there, and I'm not sure if that's not the original toilet pipe. Do you see that, Greg? It looks like a toilet pipe, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So that could actually be the original spot of the original toilet. And remember, it had a, um, a tank above and a pole chain. First one in Patterson. That's so cool. This right here is where my double vanities are gonna go. And then, guys, I have those four like little closets, but Greg gets this closet. And it's not super huge, but once again, with the super tall ceilings, I told you, he's gonna be triple hung. He's gonna have 40, 80, 120. And he has like over four feet in here, almost five feet, I think five feet. So that's 15 feet of closet space when you do all the hangers. And then we have enough room back here to put in some shoe storage on the back. I think it's going to be great. And we have learned from the move from um, Fairview onto um, Jacobs, we don't need that much stuff. We, we, we wear the same thing over and over again. Do so, I get a hook to um, grab my top bar? Yeah. So you know those hooks that they have at like the stores that they hide when they put? We're going to get one of those for him so he can hook down his clothes and put them back up. Now, do you really think he's going to pick his clothes up? <laughs> <laughs> we don't see. So um, that is... The bedroom area. So I'm going to show y'all one more area and then you'll get a glimpse of the crazy that's going on to be able to take the hallways out. I'm going to show y'all. So when you look down the hallway, there's all kinds of stuff going on. You see, I'm going to stay right here. This stuff right here is all the stuff that we're needing to do to be able to remove the side hallway walls. Okay. Those are load bearing. All right. This and this hold up the upstairs. Downstairs, we have these huge, and I'll show you all those one day. I don't think I've showed them in a video. These cypress beams, there's three of them. They started about 12 feet from the front of the house. Another one and another one. Those three beams, I've been told that we think they're almost like pylons. Like they drove, we don't know how tall they are. They're 15 feet tall that we can see for sure, but how deep they drove them in the ground, we're not sure. They hold the house up, those three piles, because everything's built on those, and there's big old beam on top of those, and then, so it's based on the center, but upstairs, it's on these. I know that's structural, but those are really important things. I know that part was loud. They need a muffler. 
Um, so right now, the Vaughn brothers have taken the joist, right Greg, joist, the ceiling rafters, no, those are joists. Those have been cut and we have this huge laminated beam. It's big, it was heavy. Um, I have pictures of them carrying it up the stairs, the whole crew is gonna be situated in there to carry all the weight of these two walls. Once that happens, we wipe out all of these walls. And this is a 30 by 30 living space that's gonna be kitchen and dining on one side, a fireplace in the center, because that beam has to have structure underneath it. So we're putting it on one of those beams, one of those columns downstairs. We'll sit a box that actually we're gonna put a fireplace in. That's our little gas fireplace in that facing the living room. And then this is my living room area. And uh, it's gonna be nice. I'm so excited. Um, this right here is I need a little space. I have my computer, I have my Bible, I have my prayer chair. I wanted it to be a little office, but now we're gonna call it the prayer closet because I needed storage. <laughs> And that's what you find out when you're doing this. We literally are doing this inch by inch. Like we mark it on the floor, we measure it out, we recheck it because what you think is going to work on paper because of the way the windows are laid out doesn't necessarily work in reality. It's just not going to happen. So this little area is my space. There's going to be on this opening right here, those pretty doors that you saw in my bathroom. I have some similar, but they're not hung to be able to open. So Greg's gonna mount them on barn door tracks right here, and they're gonna open like this and close. Now, you're gonna notice my office didn't get a window, but that's okay because of this doorway right here, it's a private space, it's open, it's not really closed off, it'll be fine. We're gonna remove, if you pass by the building, you're gonna see we have the Bahama shutters. I like to call them the purge shutters, I feel like, or the prison shutters, because it's so dark in here. I can't wait to get them off, because this place is going to be so filled with light once all of that's off, and you can look outside and see down the street. I'm excited about that. But I might not have a window, but I have a closet. This is my little crafting closet right here. We're gonna put a lot of shelves in it, and I have downsized my crafts and flowers and stuff to go right in this space but I got my own little attic right there. It's fun guys figuring it out. Um, I'm having a great time. Um, one more thing I wanna show you guys, can we show them the brick? So when they built this, Mr. Jean Fala wanted it to be a beautiful European style building. And the plan was he did it out of cinder block because inside it was all covered in the tin. The floor, I mean, the floors, my goodness, that was the only thing not in tin. The ceilings, the beams, the walls. So the walls, the cinder block didn't have to be pretty, right? So if the building wouldn't have been planned to be covered in tin and to look European, the walls would have been brick. So we're gonna go, come see what I can on the floor. We have ordered the brick thin pavers and right here I'm playing with these brick pavers and we're gonna cover the cinder block on this wall and that wall in brick, which I think it's gonna look good. So this is what I'm thinking about for a backsplash tile in my kitchen because I have one area that won't be brick over my sink. I just think trying to clean brick over a sink might not be great, so I wanna do a tile. Um, I'm also interested in this pretty green tile, but I think this one's winning right now. Um, I'll put them side by side. You guys can vote. Um, I'm playing with the color of the bricks. Um, it's just really exciting. Um, we've got lighting going on. Um, we're doing some like hotel looking lighting that I'm excited about. Um, so Greg doesn't hate the size of these windows. Do you see how big they are? Well, you can see they filled it at the top, right? See, mm -hmm. it's like six inches. Right. And there's some stuff going on downstairs where we're gonna be changing the whole front of the house pretty much completely because all the windows were restructured, even the doorway was restructured. We want to expose the beautiful tile that we found. Um, but downstairs is gonna come later. We're trying to get upstairs finished and get moved in and then take our time finishing downstairs. But you just never know how it's gonna go. We're having so much fun um, and we are so blessed. I cannot tell you how blessed I am with the 
wonderful contractors from my AC, my plumbers, my electricians. You guys rock. Um, even uh, Tanika, Thad, Trevor, my demo team. You guys are amazing. Christian, um, you helped me too from, um, when we were here. And Maddie, I didn't forget about you too, girl. Y'all have been amazing. Um, we have taken this part, this house apart with garbage bags. We have made, I don't know, 500 dump runs. I know I'm exaggerating, but we can't put a container outside on the street. So we're doing it with a trailer and y'all have been amazing. Um, you guys have a great day. This is a journey. It's so much fun. I'm so glad that you're coming with me. Um, Greg and I are loving it. This building is special. Um, we're just really, really blessed to be here. We want God to receive all the glory. You guys have a great day.